So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's based on a popular book series called Artemis Fowl. Oh, the word popular often leads to money, so I'm listening. Well, great. So at the start of the movie, we're gonna say that Artemis absolutely loves living in Ireland. Oh, yeah, he does? Yeah, so obviously we're gonna show that he's, you know, really into surfing. That is the first thing that comes to mind when I think about Ireland. Yeah, and we're also gonna have exposition scenes, you know, that explain what happens during the movie as it's happening, and that's gonna go, you know, throughout the whole thing. Oh, what kind of exposition are we talking? here. Oh, I've got a buffet of classic exposition scenes for you, sir. You're gonna love this. We've got narrator who's in an interrogation room. We've got news reporters covering things as they're taking place. We've got a psychiatrist showing up in one scene just to give backstory on someone. Are we gonna have characters saying as you know before telling each other things they already know? You know it. Oh, as you know, that's tight. I do know that, yeah. So what's the deal with Artemis Fowl anyway? Oh, well, he's like a super smart, misunderstood genius kid. Is that what he's like in the books? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't no, I didn't. I didn't read them. Oh, you didn't. You know, see, I looked through them, but you know, they're they're just filled with with words. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. A whole lot of freaking words, sir. We're talking hundreds, if not thousands. Did you get an idea what the story's about? Should we should we look it up? Yeah, you know, I looked up the character names on Google, and I saw something about fairies. So you know, I think I got the gist. It says here Artemis Fowl is actually a criminal mastermind, and there's like a whole redemptive arc thing. He's like he's like a Hans Gruber type. Oh, that sounds really cool. It's too bad we're not doing that. It seems like it's a pretty big thing, like that's one of the main draws here. Yeah, well no, I didn't put that in here. Feels like maybe we should. I'll tell you what, at the end of the movie I'll throw in a line where he's like, my name is Artemis Fowl and I'm a criminal mastermind. But just to be clear, he's not gonna be one in the movie? Yeah, no, he's just like a smart kid, or at least that's what the narrator tells us. Okay, I mean, I feel like fans of the book will be a little upset. Well, we're not making this for fans of the book, sir. So, 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 who are we making it for? Ah, see, now you're asking the right questions. There's, that's the million dollar question. That's a very good question. Thank, thank you. So anyway, then oh. Artemis' his father, he gets kidnapped. Oh, by who? By this hooded figure, Opal Kaboy. And this mysterious fairy wants to use a thing called an aculus to take over the world from the humans. And what's the deal with this Opal Kaboy? I just told you. Fair enough, and what's this aculus thing? It's basically this super powerful magical thingamajig that can do things. Things? Yeah, it can like open portals or something. It's really just one of those story things, you know, that everybody wants just as a thing to kind of drive the plot forward. A MacGuffin? No, no, thank you. I I just had breakfast. Yeah. So anyway, Artemis Jr. gets a phone call from a possum cowboy or whatever it is that I said. And the cowboy's like, you know, if you want me to set your dad free, you're gonna have to get me the, uh... You know, the new uh, Oculus Rift or whatever. What are, you, what are you talking about? Hey, do you have any games on your phone? Do I have, no, I don't, no, I don't have games on my phone. You don't? Okay, no, no, that's okay. I'll just keep going with the pitch. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. So what else happens? Like, what does Artemis do? Oh yeah, okay, so he teams up with his dad's butler, this guy named Butler. And what's he gonna do in the movie? He's gonna be around and sometimes he's gonna say exposition too. Okay. He also brings his 12 year old niece on board to help out. And what does she do? Well, her big contribution is she brings Artemis a sandwich. Oh, well, sandwiches are pretty important. Thank God she was there. Yeah, and so then we're gonna see this underground magical world. I mean, this place has fairies and dwarves and all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, wow, well, it's gonna be interesting to see Artemis deal with that place. Actually, 95% of the movie's gonna take place in a house. Oh, it is? Yep. So anyway, when we are in the magical world, we're gonna meet a fairy named Holly Short and this other one named Commander Root. Commander Root, huh? Yeah, and actually, side note, I already have Judy Dench attached to play the part. Wow, Dame Judy Dench. Yeah, as soon as her agent read the script, he begged me to get her in this thing. Wow. Well, I'm kind of surprised because word on the street is that her agent absolutely hates her. Well, I don't know what to tell you. He really wanted her in this movie. Also in some other movie named Cats. Well, well, it sounds like those sabotage rumors aren't true after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what does this Commander Root do? Well, she bosses people around and stuff. She says, top of the morning. That's what they say in Ireland. That's almost all they say in Ireland, if I understand correctly. I assume you do. So anyway, then Artemis captures that fairy, Holly Short. Why does he do that? Well, his plan is to get the elves to come to his house and then get them to get him the Aculus or something. Okay. But elves have this thing where they can mind control, so he has to wear these glasses. That sounds like the smart thing to do. Yep, but then immediately he takes them off and he's like, can I trust you? Oh, I thought he was like a boy genius. Yeah, no, he's still a genius, but I need them to be friends right away, so that happens just right off the bat. Well, okay then. So then the elves, they decide to send in this dwarf, Mulch Diggums. And what's he like? Well, he's like if a Hagrid cosplayer tried to do a Batman voice and failed. And why did they send him? Well, because he's really good at stealing things. Oh. 
Oh, okay. And he can unhinge his jaw and eat dirt so fast it goes flying out his rectum. What was that? And so he manages to get his hands on the Aculos, and now he's on Artemis's team as well. But how did that happen? When did he join the team? Unclear, but then a troll gets sent in, and they all have to survive. Oh, a troll, huh? Yeah, and then Butler pushes Artemis out of the way, and the troll lands on him and crushes his internal organs, and he dies. Oh, yeah, I forgot he was in the movie. Yeah, he's in the movie, and he dies. But then magic is a thing, so it's okay. He's not dead anymore. Oh, okay, yeah, I feel, I feel nothing. That makes sense. And so then, because magic is a thing, Holly Short is able to use the Oculus Rift to bring Artemis's dad back. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, 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 it's something, all right. So is it gonna be tough for them to survive the big showdown with Opal Kaboy? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because there's not gonna be one. Oh, there's not. There's no showdown. Yeah, no, we're all done here. Oh, well, you know, okay. So, uh... You want to play Fortnite or what's up? No, no, thank you. I've got, you know, I've got a lot of work and stuff. Oh, okay. Do you, uh, do you want to know what I think about the movie or? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. I think it's, uh, I don't know what to think. Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be either, to be honest. But I mean, it sounds like Artemis Fowl is a recognizable name, so we can't really go wrong here. People are gonna love it. That's a good point. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you like that pitch meeting. There are over 100 episodes of pitch meeting on the channel that you could check out. I also have some other videos on there, so click around. Also, let me know in the comments section what other movies you'd like to see these pitches for. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell button, the button button, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.